In this video, I'll show you my first impression of this palette. It's the Magnifies color edition from Rimmel London. And I'm gonna do some swatches and then I'll put it on my lid and tell you what I think about it. So if you want to know if you should buy this palette, then keep watching. So I didn't know we were in the information society. The first thing I noticed about this palette is that it was a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I think it's because it was so cheap. I'm gonna put this away. I think it's because it was so cheap that I guess I just expected it to be a lot smaller. But it is, as you can see, compared to my face, quite large actually. And there is 14 grams in here and there are 12 shades, which means that each shade is more than one gram. I actually don't know if that's a lot, but it certainly does look like a lot. So I was pleasantly surprised by that actually. I ordered it online and when I got the package it was a little bit scratched on the outside as you can see here. But that's what happens you know when there isn't any extra packaging and that's good for the environment obviously and also it's um, helping keeping the price lower because you don't have to produce this extra packaging. So it's not really an issue for me. Um, but I just wanted to mention it anyway. On the back of the palette it says Day to night palette for multiple eye looks. Rich, intense, long lasting color. Crease proof can also be used wet to line the eyes and give definition. So it's a quite versatile palette as you can hear and it's supposed to not crease but I also saw that the main ingredient is talk. Talk? I can't pronounce this word. <sighs> I'm gonna swatch them first so that you can see what they look like swatched. They didn't swatch quite as rich and intense as I hoped they would. But you know, some palettes do swatch nice and look horrible on the eyelids and some other palettes swatch terrible and looks really good once you put them on your skin. So we'll see. I'm gonna do an eye look now. It's gonna be very basic. I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing, but I will comment on what I think they look like once I'm done. Also, I mean, I don't know why this side of my face just hates me, but apparently it does. I just put some concealer on my eyelids and some powder. And something I'm noticing is that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use as a transition shade because there aren't any like suitable colors in here, but I'll figure it out. So let's go.
This is the look that I ended up with. It's definitely a lot darker than I intended it to be, but as you can see, I was really surprised by how pigmented the shadows were when they went on my eyelid. <laughs> so I rarely go this dark for the eyes. Obviously, I didn't try all the colors in the palette with this look, but I think I actually ended up using like half of them to really get an idea of what the colors are like, um, because I feel like in most palettes some colors are really great but others are not as great but I really do like the eyeshadows they blended really easily without blending out to nothing there wasn't a lot of fallout and they were a lot more pigmented than I expected because the swatches weren't that great but once they actually got on my eye you know applied it with a brush it was actually quite intense I don't have too much negative things to say about it other than yeah, it was scratched um, when I got it. And if you think about buying this palette, then I definitely recommend that you do it because I don't see that many palettes that are this cheap and this good. I guess that's it. I hope this video helped you if you thought about purchasing the palette. Definitely do it if you want a versatile eyeshadow palette that will not break the bank. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.